Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. This is a new week to me. I know it's Tuesday, but this was a very long week. What did you guys do for Labor Day and Labor Day weekend? I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys don't have a hangover. I don't drink anymore, but it was a very fun, and I got time to spend with my family. I don't really have too much updates, but there's a few things happening in the world that I would love to touch about. I will also love to talk to you guys about life, about a few things, motivate you guys for this week. Let's get this money, guys. Let's start today with gas prices and Russia. Russia has cut off gas supplies to Europe indefinitely. Here's what you need to know. I don't know about this, guys, but last time Russia did this, gas went up. Why? Because Russia owns a lot and a big percentage of oil and gas. Europe has been thrown into its biggest energy crisis in decades, with natural gas supplies from Russia becoming volatile and unpredictable even before the invasion of Ukraine began. Now those supplies have come to complete halt. Russia claims punitive economic sanctions imposed on it by the West are responsible for the indefinite halt to gas supplies via Europe mains pipeline. Problems in pumping arose because of the sanctions imposed against our country and against number of companies by Western states, including Germany and the UK. Kremlin spoke Peskov told reporters on Monday, according to Russian state news agency Interfax, asked whether pumping gas via Nord Stream 1 was completely dependent on the sanctions and that supplies would resume if these were lifted or relaxed, uh, Peskov said. I don't know how to say that name. That's probably Russian or German. The very sanctions that prevent the maintenance of units which prevent them from moving without appropriate legal guarantees, which prevent these legal guarantees from being given, and so on. It is precisely these sanctions that the Western states have introduced that have brought the situation to what we see now. Coming directly from the Kremlin, such comments represent the clearest indication yet that Russia is seeking to pressure Europe to lift the economic measures brought to punish Russia over its unprovoked invasion of Ukraine in order for the taps to be turned back on ahead of winter. European lawmakers have repeatedly accused Russia, traditionally its largest energy supplier, of weaponizing energy exports in an attempt to drive up commodity prices and sow uncertainty across the 27-nation bloc. Moscow denies using energy as a weapon. I hope this doesn't go crazier because I'm tired of paying so much gas. Like, I used to pay $10 a few years back, and now I'm paying $20 a day. It's insane. I think this is getting out of control. Us, the people, need to stand up to this. Russian, if you follow me, if you're here listening to me, I don't know what you guys should do. You probably guys can't do nothing. But this is getting out of hand, and I really don't want to pay for more gas prices. Another one, um, this is actually very sad. Rest in peace to these people, these successful individuals um, in Beth, Bath and Beyond yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, they committed suicide and it's such a sad news. Let's get to that info. Bed Bath & Beyond executive dies after jumping from high rise. The chief financial advisor of financially struggling Bed Bath & Beyond died Friday after jumping a New York City high rise authority set. Emergency Medical workers 
at the scene confirmed that the death of Gustavo Arnold, 52, after he fell from 57 story skyscraper known as the Jenga Tower in New York, Tribeca neighborhood. New York police said in a statement Sunday that the investigation is ongoing. Monday evening, today, no, yesterday, um, New York City Medical Examiner's Office spokesman Julie Balker said that the manner of Arnold's death had been ruled a suicide. Bed, Bath, and Beyond Board chairwoman said that the company is profoundly saddened by Arnold's death. Gustavo will be remembered by all he worked with for his leadership. Talent and strew stewardship of our company. I am proud to have been his colleague and he will truly be missed by all of us at Bed Bath & Beyond and everyone who had the pleasure of knowing him. Harriet Edelman said in a statement, our focus is on supporting his family and his team and our thoughts are with them during this sad and difficult time. Please join us in respecting the fam family's privacy. This is very sad, guys. Um, I don't know what made him commit suicide, but you live in the Jenga, if I'm not mistaken, I'm saying it right, in New York City. I'm pretty sure you got more money than me and a lot of people in this YouTube channel. I wouldn't commit suicide. My life is not that best. I create financial stability i could do whatever i want but i'm pretty sure these people have a lot more money than us guys and he did this he has a family i don't know i wouldn't leave my family no matter what i could go bankrupt i could lose it all i can't do it i just can't do it and this is why i want to motivate you guys because life is short guys and I believe that nothing should affect us. Nothing should get to our heads. Money is just material man made. And everything is an item. Everything becomes new. Like this cell phone, an example, right? iPhone 13. Tell me how the iPhone 14 is about to come out, right? Literally a year later. Everything becomes brand new again. Everything updates. Everything goes and gets old. Material things is not worth losing your life, especially if you have kids, if you have a mother that loves you, a family that loves you. Life is too short and you're not going to cut it shorter. I want you guys to stay positive, stay motivated, and most of all, stay disciplined because life is beautiful even if you don't have money. Even if you're broke, nature, the world has so much to provide for us and you can make a change today. You could become a better person today. You could learn to be a better person. You could drink more water, you could eat more healthy. You could go for a run. You could call your family, check up on your family, tell them you love them. It's such a beautiful world. And we cannot just give up, you know. I know you guys probably don't go through any crazy situations. I know we all have our mental breakdowns. But in reality, guys... Today is a new day. Yesterday was the past. So whatever happened yesterday, leave it yesterday. Today is a new day. Get going. Try to make some money. Learn a new skill. Don't waste time. Again, like I mentioned in my past motivational video, we live... 28,000 to 35,000 days on average. And I'm talking about from the day that we were born to the day that we die. That's a little bit of days, guys. I'm sorry to say it because 
if I made $35,000 in my lifespan, I won't be able to do nothing. None of us will. Guys, if you guys need anything, just comment. Let me know. I would love to talk to you personally. I don't want none of you guys to go through anything. Life is so short. And no matter how big I get, I will always give you my time. I will try to help each and one of you and giving you advice about life and about financial situations. Again, I am not your financial advisor, but I do study the markets and I do love to see the markets. You can make money in the markets while it's going down and you can make money in the markets while it's going up. Again, guys, stay positive, stay motivated, work hard, work on yourself. The most important thing, put time to work on yourself. Let's look at the charts today. Bitcoin, this is the hour chart. Let's look at the daily chart. Wow, we had a crazy week, right? So we're in 19,842. The market is pretty bad. Looks like we have uh, a green day today, though. Let me see. August 30th, we were, the bottom was 18,500. On September 1st, the bottom was 18,400. It's looking pretty scary, guys. Um, because it looks like there's no momentum reality and there's no news really today. Like it's pretty intense and, uh, I don't know. I really hope something big happens. This month is going to be crazy. We have the federal reserve meeting. We also have the upgrade of Cardano. We also have the Ethereum merge pretty intense month. I'm excited to report those things to you and giving to you update, up to date. I like to give this information when it's raw information, right? Let's look at that Ethereum. Ooh, Ethereum's not doing that bad. Okay. So August 30th, we, the lowest was 1400. August 29th, we were looking at 1400 as well, lower 1400. And right now we're hitting 1600. This is before the Ethereum merge. This is very exciting to see. Let's see what happens this week um, with the market. And uh, yeah, pretty much again, guys, like the Beth, Bad and Beyond was a very sad story. I don't wish death on anybody. I don't wish any bad mental health on anybody. We could literally control that. And yeah, I know there's things that just hurt so much, but again, there's nothing in this world worth losing your life, especially if you're leaving family. Like money is nothing. Like it's really any, nothing. And I want the best for all of us. I want the best for the world. I have so many projects that I can't speak about on my YouTube channel yet, but I definitely want to make sure that you guys are ready for what's coming. And I hope you guys enjoy all my videos. I'm pretty new to this, but I definitely want to give you guys most of the information I'm sorry if you guys don't understand me sometimes or my wordings, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm trying my best. I will get better. If you guys have any advice for me, um, please comment. I take constructive criticism really good. I don't take it as hate. And yeah, let's keep going. It's a new week. Let's kill it. Let's make some money. Let's share time with our family. Let's not waste time today, guys. Thank you guys so much for viewing this video. Till next video. Thank you. See you guys in the next one.